Detroit. Hey, I remember this bug. Ex-boxer. His real name was Joey Chicago. Oh, yeah. He fought under the name of Kid Minneapolis. Hey, I saw Kid Minneapolis fight once. In Cincinnati. I got oh, it. you're thinking of Kid New York. He fought out of Philly. He was killed in the ring in Houston by Tex Colorado. You know, the Arizona oh. assassin. Yeah, from Dakota. I don't remember if it was north or south. North. South Dakota was his brother from West Virginia. You sure know your I boxing. Feel my dream. Does it make me sound robotic? Hey. Does it make... Okay, how's the sound now? Does it make me sound robotic? Is it fine? Oh, yeah. Do you like the apron? No, I am, I am a chef. Stop saying weird things! Yes, it's a proper way to brew. I have brewed. And today there will be no thermos because it's more of a regular approach kitchen. Are we counting for this too, for the pour? One, two, five! Lisa! Three! One, two, one, five! Lisa! Two, three! Five! Lisa! Three! I'm gonna do it! One, two, five! Lisa! Three! All right. So, how bad was the speaker? Could you hear the speaker for the sound effects a lot? Or is it okay? I spill my drink. There's a very strong sun currently, but it will calm down. I spill so I need my to drink. My chat. Oh Jesus! But the thing is, it's there. It'll go. I think it'll pass. It'll pass over. It'll pass just like a kidney stone. It'll pass. Great! You guys seem very happy about this. You made this happen. Well, I kind of made it. No hair and beard nuts. There's a there's a here braid. I did a braid. That'll keep the hair, but the braid the the beard is oiled. We're making omelets. No. We're making something else. I can't even hear the music. But at least I can hear you. I can close the window. Hold on, if I close the window, I'll go. See you later. See you later. Stay on my toes. Yeah, because this is the other... The thing is, I don't know, this could actually be better quality and has a noise suppression. Meanwhile, the Yeti doesn't. This is me close again. This is me doing director's cut commentary. <laughs> so, but that's it. Um, okay. Ah! Uh, it's all fine. Fukuzan! Yes! What is it? Oh, no. I'm making food soon. Don't stress me I'll out, Oda. Journal. You know what happens? Today, we'll be cooking up food. We will be making pasta from the ground up. So that's number one. So we'll be cooking up a pasta dish, cooking up a food. Um, it will be uh, a lot. It will be a bit spicy. It will not spicy, but it will be spicy. You know the other the other way to say spicy. Um, no, not floor pasta. Pasta vazul, spaghetti. Be a nice, nice. tagliatelle. So that'll be the first thing we'll do because I'm going to make the pasta. We're going to chill the pasta. And after that, we're going to make a nice feta salad. A very creamy, a lovely feta salad. The thing is, this dish, I haven't perfected it. It's been a while. I don't remember the, right, the ingredients, but it tastes good. But I messed up last time I made it, and 
both my sauces look white and so the salad blended in with the the other sauce you know it, it, it would be a mess we'll see we'll see fed the salad from the ground no that will be from the fridge it's really important that I made the chat align with with, with this as uh, you know we're preparing the preps yes I also have a note to myself uh, I wonder if I should record I'll put the computer on power uh, I have notes so I don't forget it's like oh shit a whole other thing to do do I need this I don't think I need it that goes over there for chill I will need this one hey hey Make some good shit. Make some good shit. It's gonna be some fucking good shit today, Mudo. Thank you for the sub. Tier one brother. Floor bled, floor salad, floor pasta. No! I'm gonna make good food. Trust me. Okay? So. Let's get into it. I'm gonna make this slowly. Because I won't, I don't want to do it like uh, like you were in the restaurants and you ordered. You were in the posh restaurant and you ordered past the this the golem, and I'm not going to be in the kitchen like fuck it, son, take it back. So not today. It's going to be like I will show you what I do. I'll show it what what the things are, and I'll show you the methods and. Like a good cooking show, it isn't because a good cooking show would like it make 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 and done dish. You know, that's what they do. They just like I do a lot of things. Doesn't really matter. Everything goes into the pin because I have it already prepared from home. Ta da! I don't have that. This is my home. I'm preparing it now for a cooking show, locally. Um. So yeah. So, I'll explain the dish. That's 10 stuff! That's, uh, that's, uh... That's, uh... That deserves a little bit of a slap. I'll do an early slap. For you, Muldo, for the 10 subs. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, uh, you will see Tony Hopkins. If you haven't seen this already, it's uh, it's not John Cleese. It's found the other one. Found anything yet? We ain't found shit. That was very suggestive. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. Why would you suggest? You mean suggesting a food entry? Yeah. Hmm. Possibly. Yeah, you can spam. Thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Who welcome? Who got welcomed? Who got welcomed in? Fucking Infinity Issue, Rambling Onion, Clater, Edge Main, Wabin, So Far, Crabby, Tonel, Dragoon Zero, Shorty Strong. And my stream cup. It's fine. I'll just put it on 360. It's what I do when I get out of bed anyway. You always do a 360. Slap on that meat. You like where this is going? Well, this is plenty more with that capital. I didn't even get to explain. What the dish is going to be yet? Okay, so you saw the, you saw the salami. You saw the salami, so that's one thing. We're going to make pasta with a feta salad, which is very fresh and nice. We're going to uh, use some garlic and bell pepper in some sort of a sauce to marinate a bit. We're going to cook that with some pepperoni, cut pepper or salami. I didn't find actual pepperoni. This is Italiana salami, so pepperoni. It'll work. Um, and then some ciabatta bread. We're gonna cut up and cook, and after that, it's gonna be a proper dish, and everything's gonna go okay. Good, good that you agree. Go. 
Golem slaps his meat on the counter. Eh, you know, you do what you gotta do. I'll add some more coffee to my drink. Okay, it's time to actually make, I'm going to do, make it proper, okay? Okay, so, here's the thing, the sun is shining. I don't know how bad the lighting is going to be, but if it's bad, I can do my, I can get my key light over here to add. But it, I think it's going to be okay. Didn't even have my lights on. That helps. <laughs> okay. Cooked golem, hey Josh, what's up? No fava beans, no? What's up, perchance? So I'm go to everybody that I missed. Okay, we're gonna make some proper pasta, okay? So we remove all this, this cap is washed and nice. It's been, it's been, other than being slapped by a salami, it's completely washed and washed out. I'm gonna get some eggs. I'm gonna get some eggs. Let's make it big bash because we're making it for the family, huh? Okay, a big batch of of pasta. Sit. Be nice to the chickens. And that's it. What we need from there. I should have. Okay, one mistake. I should have. Uh, these are very chilled. Eggs shouldn't be that chilled, but you know, there's no cooking stream without some mistakes. And I don't know how much I need of speak Norwegian. Would it mean me and I think it? Men the fit we all to eat. So high as on shit they proof cut that. La 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 shoot 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 shoot. So they go well. Would we mean the way to cut it? So da bara so vad det visst kan vi bruka som bolle. Så kan vi ha allt i en bolle och så bara i bolle men då ser vi ju inte hur det går så. Da ska vi se, vi gjør det enkelt. Skal vi ta de der opp først? Nei, vi gjør det skikkelig for ofte også. A bucket for the eggs. I'll keep it handy. I wonder if I should have it on the counter or off the counter. Uh, I'll have it on the counter for now. And we'll see what happens. I want to have my chat. Ah. Keep me company. Oh shit. This is probably not good. This is magnet. It stays there. <laughs> yes, none of these are on, so don't worry about it. So my chat is there, and now I can look at you guys. Great. Floor simulator, no cooking tablet, no cooker. Yeah, this is off. I did cook good coffee there earlier. I'm gonna actually do it. Just to be perfectly safe. Don't want to make something weird happen. No just induction charging. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just going to lather my this looks very professional, doesn't it? No. <laughs> I'm just going to put some flour on my table. And I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna cook the flour and I'm gonna be happy about that. I spill my drink. No, this is completely normal. The problem is that I keep forgetting how much flour I need. I just, the important thing is not to have too much. Because then we can just add more eggs though, that's true. Um, let's see. Could this be a good start? No, we need a little bit bigger for a while, don't we? Let's try this on for size. I think this is good. I mean, I got five eggs. It's fine, we'll make it a messy stream. I got my messy thing here. So, the messy thing is in check. Your OCD is on overdrive? That's, that's the original way, that's the way to do it. Thanks, man. What other people can do is they use like this bowl, but since we are professional Italian cooking, we make it in the fountain. I already see that the fountain 
It's too small. <laughs> Reinforce the sides. It doesn't really matter in the end. Trust me. Uh oh. It's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Nothing is wrong with this. Okay, it's leaking. Oh, look! Perfect. Okay, so it might have been too small. But that's exactly what I plan to do. Eggs with a pinch of flour. So the professional way to do it is that you make it big in a fountain and then you mix it in the middle. Since we didn't make that happen, we're going to do something else. So, here we go. Let's remove these for the, for the camera view. Counter dough. Go! So what you would like to do... I should wait to remove the flour, I'm not done with the flour. Here we go. Fukuzan! Yes, Ulta, I am very busy cooking. Can't you tell? Look, it's fine. Come on! Okay, we gotta start. We, we, okay, so the professional way would look like this. You go in the middle. I spill my drink. And you kind of just take the fountain things a little bit more and more. So you just take the fountain from the edges there a little bit more and more into the middle. Since we don't have a base anymore, <laughs> we can't really do that. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Welcome to Stealth Big Olim's cooking stream. It'll, it's the best one you can get, so it doesn't look good right now, okay? I broke the well, and it's glorious. I did, okay? Listen, I did this for you, okay? I did this for you. I tried to be a better person. But, as is everything, I even see a strand up here. Oh, fucking... That's, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the strand up here, I will take it out. When I can. When my fingers are working. Fucking get out! It was under the fucking coffee thing. Get out! Fucking... This is fine. No? Fucking... Why was there a hair there? Go away! Got it. You need a Swedish chef sound? <laughs> I, I think I'm making them enough myself. Hunger shiddly dingafall! In the wall is spoon the pasta! Build the shiddly fungo! Look, okay, so I needed definitely more flour, as you can tell by this. Definitely would have needed more flour, and then then we could have had a bigger well. So yes, I wanted more flour. Okay, did I get it? No. Listen, this is fine. Don't spill it in there. Sit. Thank you. I'm gonna say it. we're gonna start with this for now. Create the meal. I'm making egg noodles now. We're making noodles, but uh, spaghetti noodles. Slightly different. Oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. So good. yes, good. the the normal cook way to do this, the, the normal home cook way to do this, is of course in a bowl. You know? It's in a bowl because what does a bowl do? It contains. But the cool thing is if I would have practiced this beforehand what we would get 
is a well of fun. Do I measure out anything when I cook? No. I am one of those cooks that everything goes by feeling. This would have been good if I would have cooked more. I used to cook a lot more. <laughs> yeah, measuring is for chumps. Don't worry, Mr. B. I have a cunning plan to solve it. Cunning the plan to solve the problem. Yes, we do. Baldrick, call me the Baldrick Cook Can. Oops. Now we got some fluorine. But this looks good. Now we get. Now we gotta go. Now we gotta go and chat. Emphasis on cook before. I'll move a little bit to the side. Huh? You can see more of the pasta here. Sorry. I'm getting used to the setup. And this will be a stream where I look into the camera because I don't have anything else to look at. You should feel scolded. And this is also why I love to have a countertop that is, uh, what you call it, it's not iron, metal, metal, because you can cook and do things like this, and it's nice. Steel. Steel is metal, isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't wrong. Mithril. Stainless steel. Well, there's a lot of stains on it, for sure. So now that we're getting closely to the second part here, we're going to make this bowl happen. You love a cast iron countertop. Ooh, cast iron. That's a heavy countertop. You could, like, flavor the countertop. A lot of ways to do it. Granite. Do, 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 do. Slowly, we got a little bit of a ball here. Look, every you gotta give me some credits, even though I messed up on the flour amount okay even though I did that I'm cooking pasta you know the, the, the men's way the real man's way <laughs> yo big D what's going on you changed the wall face you added the stove and a refrigerator took away a desk so many changes yet I'm the same person the same person. Hey, Rain. Cast iron counter would wreck any knife. Possibly, yeah. I need to knead. We need to knead. I'm in the need of dough. So at this point, when it gets contained, I like to remove the flour because I want to to make it a little bit, you know, um, not too weird. It'll probably need a little bit more flour as we go. But it's not going to become a complete... Um, it needs to be a little bit sticky. Not the pizza dough, or bread dough, because that is yeast. This is very simple for somebody that is interested in, like, pasta. Trust me, this is so cool because it's so easy to make pasta by hand. And it tastes so much better. You get some eggs, you get some pinch of salt, you get flour. You get pasta. So the thing about the pasta dough is that you would need to work it for like 15 minutes. So that's the that's the problem with the with the pasta dough. It's looking good now. Now we can use proper technique to use this dough like that. So we want to work this for a while so it can glutenize or whatever the dingus. I have no idea. I remember I read about pasta dough creation years ago. I 
and I'm trying to remember the terms and the things, and you can see by my well that I made, it's not really my comfort zone at the moment. Game show music. Okay, that's that's a that's a good one. So how are you guys doing today, huh? Feeling good? Feeling spicy? I'm feeling great. We're cooking. This is the earliest dinner I've ever made. It's 7 a.m. Not anymore. Morning at work. Feeding flour egg, nice. Floor egg, sorry. Very spicy. That's fine. So we always do Iron Chef. Masahiko Kobe? No, Masahiko Kobe isn't. We know this already. Masahiko Kobe, he's just there for display. <laughs> he doesn't cook, he's just there. He's Italian Iron Chef for display. It's only Hiroyuki Sakai, Roksawa Michiba, and Chen Kenichi. And Chen Kenichi is barely on the floor as well, isn't he? You're feeling super fantabulous tonight. Maybe it's just a very late dinner. Maybe like people came home from like an uh, after party. And like, so if you make me a dinner, it's six in the morning, what? I need food. I'm barely a vegetable. What does that even mean? I don't know, but I feel weird about it. Yeah. It's looking very yellow, but you see it has so many inconsistencies in it. See? See how many inconsistencies there are in this? We need less inconsistencies. That's why we gotta work it. You gotta work it, baby. Oh, we got coffee as well. Leave it to glutenize by itself. Can you overwork spaghetti? Uh, I don't think that's a problem. You just gotta work it good and then you chill it to make it a little bit more... I don't know what you call it, but the thing is, I realized that when I make pasta, the ones that... Maybe if I cut the dough and I have one for dinner and the next one is for the next day, I feel like that pasta dough tastes better. Sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, you basically cook breakfast, your big main deal in the morning. If you validate it. Sure. Okay, this is starting to feel like a proper dough now. Just gotta continue to make it. And as I say, a lot of elbow grease in this. So basically, what I'm doing with the kneading, as you can see, I'm just holding it up, pushing it down with this one. Over again with that. Wait, body wait. My whole room is crumbling when I do this. My neighbor is saying, stop pushing my floor, my roof down. But I spit on his shoes when he leaves. So, we're on good terms. All buffet? Yes. All bu All buffet. That's fat though, that's elbow fat. What's grease in Norwegian? Not oil. I don't know. Yo, Captain Chaos, what's going on? What is up? Okay, this dough is actually starting to feel pretty good. You love the Hopkins background? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm a regular diet kind of guy. Regular kind of guy. Uh, I just, I don't know. I wanted, it felt funny. And so I did it. And I already was in, uh, in the mood after the John Cleese thing, so. Look at it now, chat. Look, look. 
compared to what we just saw like three four minutes ago look at this rounded more work than <laughs> take that neighbor why are you shooting things david Attenborough. it's time to let the dough reside in its fate of getting eaten it has lived as both a small chicken, not really a chicken yet, but now between put into a, tin, a basket of being a cardboard box and will be served for dinner. This small chicken never had its life. Reserved and full to be a giant pasta dough. Together, all these five chicklets die, get smothered by the man's salty hands. Take that, neighbor. Take that, neighbor! Ah, fuck! Okay, you know what? You know what? I can do this a little bit more, but I think it's okay. Is that all the thing? Bro! Yes. Damn, it feels nice. Ooh, it's so smooth. When you get to this part, you feel validated. You feel like all the struggles, the well that was too small, and suddenly you have this beautifully slightly sticky dough that feels <laughs> great. Yeah, remove the hair flips is a good idea. I uh, I removed switch keyboards because you know that was also weird. And uh, <laughs> spin the cackle demon. Um, I thought about having the webcam and just point at the cackle demon in a small corner. I could go out there and spin it, but you know. It's not really that important. Okay, I think I'm just going to round it out a bit. Just to make it a little bit more whole. There, look at this beautiful bun of fun! Yes, are we getting excited? Yes, we are. Oh, and like that, it's just a round. Croissant. Yes, it's a pasta. We've just discovered it's a pasta. Dough. Look at this round, good old bun. You can just eat it right there. Okay, good. Five stars, thank you. Just going to get some excess Dingus off my hands. We can wash properly soon. Just don't want any in my uh, things in my closet. Yes, this is just a bunch of bags. You probably didn't even see it. And the bag it goes to chill for now. God, it's hot outside. I hope it's no construction noise outside. I'm opening the window. Okay, let's clean up. We don't need no flour anymore. So let's put that back. That was a sh shovel. Shovel. We'll need this for later. Put it there. Into the sink we go. Can I actually still use it a bit? But it's not that important. I'm gonna do a slight hand hand wash because I'm very old style. <laughs> I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know. This is probably very loud for you. You need to pee now. The 
Just gotta get my excess flowery hands, doughy hands, washed. This is a messy process, just don't get, don't be afraid to, to itchy scratchy yourself. It's done. Take it away. I'll do a slight clump clean over this. We're going to still use this for pasta later, but you know. That'll take care of the most of the things. So this is not dry at all. You have other for this. And suddenly. Voila! It's a surface. Take a small break to appreciate each other. So. Um, that's how you make pasta though. Except for the first part where I missed. Might do a cookie video at some point, yeah. For me, it's easier because I have the cook. I have the cook, the cooking area, the kitchen. Uh, I have it basically. It's two meters, three meters away from me. Ah, uh, yes, four meters away. Because this would be a really large person. Yes, about a really large person's length plus a, plus a tiny man's person's length. That's my computer area. So I'm able to just have an extended cable, so with my camera, I just had a different HDMI attached to it with the converter on, and then I was, you know, I could just um, have some things around. So the camera is now up on the, like a, the desktop arm. So this is a, usually this arm is for microphones, but what I did, I have this Gorilla, uh, this Gorilla, um, what's it called? Gorilla stand for the microphone, so it's able to attach itself to anything basically. It's really robust. You can use it in trees outside to get different vantage points and whatever, so you can basically attach it to anything. So I'm just like, it's monkeyed around the, 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 the arm. You love the link to pass mug? I love it too. I love it too. Gorilla glue, yes, just glue. Board dance. 3D is free. I got it, but thanks, Borium Evan. Awesome. I do have a proper proper coffee cup. I, I have more. This is not a proper coffee cup, though. This one. Donkey Kong. I got the ridiculous one. This is more like a mug. Like the Vault Boy, the Pip Boy. Bad lighting now because of a lot of light outside. Yeah, it, it's it's weird now, but it's okay. From here you can see it. <laughs> Basically, there you go. Big big mug. This this is my usual one. I'm just gonna show up every coffee cup now to show that I have mugs, cups. I think it's a whole liter in there. Half now. There's the beautiful one that I don't really use, they already use anymore. This is my favorite Disney movie. But it doesn't handle heat, even though it is sold as a um, sold as a coffee cup. It doesn't add, it doesn't uh, handle the heat. As you can see, it's breaking. Maybe you can see this. It's breaking the uh, the sides. So don't really use it anymore because of that. Oh, I got some other things. Little dangus. Yeah. Okay. You want to go to the next stage of the cooking? Chip. Chip. Yes. Your little pony mug. <laughs> Only lemonade now. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. It's my Disney movie, okay? It's my movie. I had two copies of it because I ordered like a full 
gave one away to a family that I care about. They're dead now. Hello, Boric. Hello, Margor. How you doing? We're making, uh, we made pasta. It's in the fridge. Uh, we're also gonna make something new now. We're gonna make a feta salad. Because that is also going to sit in the fridge. So, as I said to you earlier, this is not stressed cooking, this is comfortable cooking with the golem. Because, no need to rush. It's gonna be a cozy time. It's not going to be Le Chef El Extreme, like Hell's Kitchen. So, new segment! Feta! This is original Appertina feta. This is a basic block of feta cheese. Gonna use that. We're gonna mix that with basilicum. As you like them, basilicum. Cherry tomatoes, red, juicy cherry tomatoes, not cheap, watery ones, because that's not fun. Nobody likes a boring cherry tomato. Used cucumber. <laughs> not fresh. No, you can't use fresh cucumber. No, this is what I had, okay? I have this, this is fine. You don't need more than this. Throw it first. Used for cooking. Cut. That's used. And we're not going to prepare this on the countertop. We're going to prepare this on the surface. So there we are. That should be good for you. Yeah, this every all of this comes out of my garden. All the sub money I get is one more tomato. You disappoint me. I was gonna say, I don't really get to pour out of that mug. I always put it as my thermos. And now I know why I would do it again. Why do I always do this? I'm used to coffee cups being hot, so I do two hands just in case something happens. Sweet sense of butt liquor. Yes, this is dangerous, but I, it worked for me. It is a magnetic knife thing. So I got this, put it like that, put it like that. For me, it works. It's, it can't contain all the magnetic power of this power top, but you know what? I got it working. We have to... Is it clean? Mm, no, I'll wash it a little bit. It seemed like it wasn't oily in this to it. That might have been from the dishwashing. I've had this knife for far too long. I bought this knife in 2013, and it's not a professional knife. It's good, but it's definitely getting blunt. So we gotta be dangerous. Try 
trying not to, to hurt your fingers. Just go from one side to the other, get the blade sharpened. If I don't do this, I can't cut my bell pepper later on. There's some... Some things... That is just uh, a bit difficult to cut without having a sharp knife. First of all is... Uh, making good cuts with like a salmon. If you're gonna make that, you actually want a better knife than, than what I have currently. Should be okay. A full through knife sharpener. I've heard more and more people use these though. Not gonna be too bad. I need a bowl for these. I used this one last time I made it. Oh, nice. Uh, but this is a bit small. So I have uh, increased the bowlage. This is very wide, but it's fine to be wide. See so if you can see it from there. Hannibal knife sharpening. <laughs> Sharpen once only every six months to a year. Well, am I, I don't know about you, but this, after two uses, this needs to be sharpened. <laughs> Pull through nicely, ruin too many knives. Okay. Okay, I see. I have never had it. I've just had the basic one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have some water. Can you... I, no water posture today. Are people too excited? Water posture. Hmm. I'm moving around, you know. I need more water than usual. Okay. Feta. Block of fete. Is it just, it's just feta cheese, right? What kind of cheese is it, really? Vittu naana vallimeren justo, ainneksi pastroitto naito. Why is it only in Finnish? Oh, there we are. Pasteurized cow milk. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's cheese. Okay, whatever. Did I hone my edge after sharpening it? Is it some sort of MMO talk? I don't know. I put the block of feta into the... Oh yeah, juice. Look at that. Done. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. It's gonna be better, I promise. Clean up as you go. Clean up as you go, Jack. You don't want a messy kitchen. So much more nicer to have a kitchen when you clean up as you go. Because then, that's also why you have this apron and this, because whatever you do, you can just like, ah, fuck it. Is an owning rod. Okay, maybe I don't have the sharpening one. Well, it works, okay? It works. I don't know what the proper thing is. I have this and it works for now. Whatever. Buy me one. No, I'm not mad. I'm just, I don't know. It's what I had. In the kitchen that I worked at in the, 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 when I used to cut salads, I had, I just used this also. Same real thing. So. It worked. Let's start with the just bunching up this feta a little bit. Less sharpens, more keeps it sharp. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So what would you do to actually keep it? What kind of raw do you want then? 
You want another rod? I guess I could never satisfy anybody with the rods that I have, so. Sometimes you just gotta take an L. Sometimes you just gotta take an L. There we go, and because it's my kitchen, I can do this. I'm only one eating the food, I can even do this around there. Whatever. My kitchen, my rules. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. So, this is very chunky now. We don't want this chunky. So, it doesn't matter what I start with here, I think. Check it to mice. Oh no, this is broken. Hopefully more of them is nice. It was broken? More. Be less broken. I can have you on my side again. I'm gonna be quiet and so. Oh no. Water. You go to a pro to sharpen knife. I see. So I like to dice them in fours. So either if you do it on the side, or if you do it, you know, just like make it fours. That's what I like to have at least. Depends on the size of the cherry tomato though. Like this is small, I could just leave it if I wanted to. This is slightly bigger, but you know what? I like the chunks of tomato, the cherry tomato ones. But yeah, as I said, this knife is from 2013. I really should get a new knife. I haven't. I want to get a cleaver. I want to get that, like Chinese styled cleaver cooking, like Asian stuff. It looks so fun. This is also going to add some moisture to the feta salad. Amounts. Yeah, I don't know. Let's keep it going. I only got two left. Let's see how we do here. I might have actually, this bowl might be too small as well. <laughs> I think this bowl is too small as well. Jesus, why is everything so small? Wait, do I have the other one washed? I do. Okay. Ta-da! Magic of cooking! Oops, that was a bit... It was already starting to disintegrate. bigger bows. Exactly. Um, let's just see here. So now we're gonna cut some cucumbers. Don't need this part. Um, yes, he's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Woodless Miracle. I like to split him like this. Plastic goes in the plastic bin. Recycle kids. Recycle kids. <laughs> Recycle kids. Um, what I like to do with a cut, well, how do I like to cut a uh, cucumber? If it's a bit long, I might half it. I'll actually do it here. So I just like to add some slits on the side, but keep the end intact. So there, so it sticks like that, and then I can just like chop it. And at the end, where it's intact, I just go on the side and do that. And now we got cucumbers. Same here. You can definitely tell that my knife isn't that sharp because I have to use force. The the 
problem with having to use force is that that's why you want the knife to be sharp because if it's sharp it just flows through if you use force if you cut yourself using force to cut yourself that's no bueno but I, as I said, I know that I should get a new, a new knife. Use the force. Cooking ASMR. Well, this wouldn't classify as cooking ASMR. I got a shady microphone setup. I need like an ear I could just lick once in a while. <laughs> There's a lot of ASMR though, types of it. You know what, I'll already start marinating it a little bit because I want to add some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil to this pepper salad, so I'm just going to add a bunch. Trying to blend this in. I already see that. I'll just use the last two cherry tomatoes. I don't have any more at this point, so if we need more, we don't have more. Let's see, let's try to mix this up. Yeah, not too bad. And this chunkiness will soften up with the oil and the water from the cucumbers and the cherry tomatoes. So you don't necessarily need to add that much water to it, I believe. Looks like kind of like this. I'm going to add the basil to it too. Just going to mix it up a little bit now. No, this is not the anniversary stream. The sub incentive. Sorry, I can't read all chat. I need to not cut my fingers. I'm picking up from the basil. I always just did this. I'm like, oh, who wants to join? Who wants to join? You want to join? Okay. Just, you know, imagine what I'm doing. Imagine one of those, the, the claw machines, you can win a teddy. Just use the claw, but barely try to hold on to it. And then whatever comes out, those are your winners. Oh, look. We have a couple of winners here. Because then I won't need necessarily use a lot of force to get the stilts out of there. So I get mostly leaves. I got one big stilk. Stilk? Stick, that's what we say in Norway. So you can see, by using the claw, we just don't really get any sort of... We got one, but that's it. Poor Basil. No, cut your I'm just talking in general, Spider. I'm not gonna cut my thing with a fork. But in general. So you pick the most dry leaf that is about to fall off. Fuck you. No, they're nice. They're juicy. They're plump. They're ripe. They're nice. So, if you want to be a barbarian, you could immediately go What I've learned is that you could bunch them up a bit. Um, I'm trying to, like, what was this? Just use some sort of fucking mobile. I, I can't remember. Basically, trying to just not be too crazy. Just work at them like this so you can retain a lot of the moisture that comes out of the basil. If you do too much action, then you lose a lot of that flavor. I've heard! Am I able to do this perfectly? No. So I'm just gonna do this after all. So shut it. Leaves are like women, be gentle and no. <laughs> be gentle and don't be afraid when they turn against you. You know, like women, leaves die inside after a while. <laughs> they look really nice and they flourish. And then after a while, they fall to the ground. They're at the bottom of the barrel. Their color fades. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, baby, this is starting to look good. Even got some redness to it. Now, you know what? I'll add a little bit more extra virgin. Since we're talking about the women here. <laughs> no, not like that. But yes, jokingly like that. I'll add a little bit more of this. No, okay, I'll go crazy. I'll go crazy. Fuck it. This is much more easier. But yes, as I said, this is basically just taking more of the basil out on the on the board, the cutting board instead. That should be good. I think this is nice. Treat your crates. What? Lord Flashheart. Nice. Black Adam. Flashheart was a dick. I hated him. Um, so it's a, it's a bit chunky now. It might get a little bit less chunky uh, after resting it as well. I'm just letting the tomato and the cucumber to just water the things out a bit. I'm going to have a taste because this is basically almost prepared. Yeah. Yeah, just a tad, just a tad more. Not everybody likes the taste of well, olive oil. Virgin olive oil, but you know. It's okay. You're learning about the man behind the man? This man? Are you talking about um, Mr. Hopkins? Yeah, so it's already starting to to crumble up the feta cheese. That was very much a block. Get some moisture in there and suddenly it's not too bad. So eventually, it starts to look like this. It's not too bad. Looks kind of cool. It's very... The thing about this is... It's feta cheese, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, basil, olive oil. Very... It's very... It kicks in a very fresh way. I love it. Whatever, go in there. <laughs> there! And I'm just, uh, since I did this, I probably didn't need more cucumber. Nah. Um, I could've. Nah, it's it's nice. I like it mostly cherry tomatoes anyway. I'll have to store it. Reuse bags, reuse bags, reuse bags. Always reuse your bags, unless you got dirty stuff in them. Great yolk, there's no excuse. You guys need to <laughs> do better, okay? Need to do better. I could keep the cutting board like this, but I'll just give it a quick wash. Before we continue. Remove the basil. The basil. Such a fresh napkin will do. Clean as you go. You'll thank yourself later. Okay, so. Now I'm just gonna put it in like this. That's fine. You could put a plastic film over it, but we're gonna use it soon anyway. It's fine. That does that! 
pasta done, fanta salad done. I have notes in case I forget what to do. I mean, I know the things that I'm making, but in case I forget a thing that I'm making, it's gonna happen. We're doing good, chat. We're in good, um, it's a bit light. It didn't go as fast as I remember them to go, but it's fine. Step 23, drum on the couch and forget what you're doing. A jig sharpener, what the hell? Jig sharpener? Sharpen up your dance moves? Sharpen your dance <laughs> with the your use your jig jigged up butt to sharpen your knife. Looking good? Trust me, we're only getting started. We're only getting started. Um But now becomes the part of multitasking. Now comes the multitasking. Slowly. So. Yes, Hannibal Lecter by the fridge. Nothing to be worried about, it's just a friend of mine. So, I'm um, gonna dry this one out. As I said, it's my kitchen, I'm making it for myself, I can lick whatever I want to. We are going to. Um, burp a bit, apparently. Sorry. Uh, that pan, that pan. Uh, Peter Pan. I think I'll use this pan, even though I don't know how much on the. Okay, fine. I'm gonna use this casserole. In here, I'm going to have garlic, bell pepper, usually some sort of uh, oil that is nice to have with them so they can marinate. I only have my olive oil now, so what I'll do, olive oil, butter. So then you have garlic, bell pepper, olive oil, butter. It's going to marinate for a while on the cold, cold heat, just on a small heat, just to make the bell pepper soft. And now that I have my coffee, I'm ready Make to the watch. bell pepper. Where is it? Hey, Dragon Smoke. Make the bell pepper soft, the garlic to go in the juices. So that's the plan. I just took a pirouette. Also, I'll do this. We're going to make some chicken bouillon. So I need to prepare enough water so I don't get panicky soon. Always prepare. What are we using? This thing. And about 200 mils of water. 200, that's 25. It's like the less and in the pan. Seems so little. I'm not making a lot. That goes over there for later. Now I have the correct amount of water for the bouillon. Chicken bouillon, to be precise. Expired chicken bouillon, <laughs> to be even more precise. Um, but it's not, <laughs> it's not my band aid. Just being honest there. The spices from Hindu kid. Yeah. I got them. That's the typical Norwegian thing. I got a lot of different ones. I was into like. I was into a lot of uh, Indian cooking for a while ago. This is Asa Fuetira. I don't know how you pronounce it. You can even zoom in on it. Hello, kind morning. of. And um, a lot of mustard seeds, fennel seeds, whole cumin. Indian cooking is cool. The mung dal beans. Uh, keep it dietary, but low because my stomach can act up if I eat too big. It's nice. You gotta be expired, but that's extra flavor and texture. Uh, hey, Captain, how you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> spice never expire, expire, they turn into new spices. Exactly. 
I don't need to measure anything more. So just water dry itself, air dry itself in the, in the that, in the that. I got this prepared. I should probably add the water. It's greasy. This is not this is not clean properly. As long as you only see this side, there's no no worries. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to just make sure I have this ready. The thing is, at one point I'll probably forget things. So instead of forgetting everything, I'm going to have things slightly prepared. When I forget them, I'll... Okay! I'll have the time it takes. So, I'm just grabbing this water. A lot of water here for the pot. Like a midget at a urinal, I was going to have to stay on my toes. There you go. I'll just put it on a very low heat to just make it start getting hot. For the pasta later, not now. I'm going to open up the door. It's hot in here. Because of the sun, I'm getting direct sunlight. Could be scattered. Pumpkin seed oil. Oh. Hey, Bingo. How you doing? Welcome to the cooking stream, my friend. Okay, time to make the thing that I talked about. This is going to be bell pepper, garlic, butter, oil. I got some floaty butter here. This works fine. This has a nice taste to it. I like it. It's um butter and oil. Perfect. It upsold you. That's what I wanted. It upsold you. So that works fine. And olive oil to add the next one. Usually I have green peppers, green bell peppers for dinner stuff, but it's slightly more bitter. I think meanwhile the red is a little bit more sweet. Same with the yellow one. One paprika bell pepper. Salt. And of course, garlics make a mess. I always do. Just going to grab two cloves. That's half of it. Fine. There we go. Such a messy business. This enough layers, Shrek. Do you have enough, Shrek? Actually, I probably will need the last bunch of them. So, use this one for the garlic. Some seaweed salt. Mm. Shrek is garlic now, they have layers. Like onions, this is even more layered. So, with garlics, I mean, it's a bit old. I bought this a week ago, but it should be okay. Um, because I can, I have reacted on garlic before. <laughs> but, it's good if it's fresh. So, what you like to do with garlic, the trick to get the skin across, usually, it could be done like this. Put your knife on the side. Smash it. Not too hard. But a little bit. This gets the skin sort of already started peeling. And then you can basically just, oh yeah, just casually rip it off like that. Before that, it's very intact with each other. It loves itself. Same here, light, tap. Uh, come on! I said fall off like your friend did. Uh. Okay, 
And this was a salty one. He was a salty. Come on, dude. There we are. You just peel it without waking up the neighbors? No, you gotta be rough. You gotta be rough about this mess. You have to be. I don't know if you have to cut the tips off, but I tend to do it. So, I just kind of um, finely cut these. start to really get into them. The thing about garlic is that actually they're the healthy part of the garlic gets worked on as you start cutting it up. So what I've heard people say is that cut garlic earlier than you should need to use them because they develop this allicin, allicin, I have no idea. If they're just cut and they can let it wait a bit, it gets a little bit more healthy. No idea. I read it once. So anyways, this is finely chopped. I'm going to put it into the bowl now and I should add the butter and stuff here too. Probably should have put it on the thing. I want to contaminate my eyes, my board with some more stuff that I don't want to see. Okay, that should do it. My hands all dirty. But that's why you have a dirty cloth in your cool whatever I'm doing. Yes. If you don't wake up your first neighbor's peeling garlic, that just means you're doing it wrong. Thank you. I know. Step 26, scrape some wood into your pot. Got it. The best way to scrape wood into the pot is just by going on the edges. Cut on the side so it can chip into it. Chip, 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 chip. Boom, boom, boom. And you got fire. Smooth. I was talking about contaminating with the underside. They're probably not cooked. Iron, iron, iron. Wood, wood, wood. Contaminate, contaminate, contaminate. I need to add some olive oil to this. I'm also going to get the bell pepper, but I just want to redden this one. Olive oil. And then the butter that's mixed with oil. What's it up, Solium, in English? It up, Solium, butter. No idea. What should I mix it with? Ah, right now I can just use the fork. I'll start to simmer it like very slowly. The mildest of heats. And then I'm going to chop the bell pepper and put it in there too. So, bell pepper chopping. There's different ways to do it. I have one way to do it. I like to just half them. Half them, so I get these split. Like that. And then I just use my fingers and I just take out the roots, like that. Take down the innards, the white parts in the middle, nobody wants to see that on the, in the dish. Just use some nail polish. No, just use your fingers to remove the white parts. That's what I like to do. And if there's any leftover seeds, you just do this. And I didn't have any leftover seeds, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's see if we get leftover seeds in this one. Yes, and we will do. This was a messy one. Also grab the stem on the bottom, get that out of there. So as you can see here, already there's going to be a lot of seed inside. So usually you could just like hammer. 
And there we go. Suddenly, no seeds. You know, it's all about bonking. It's all about bonking and hammering. Impressed? No. Rapeseed oil. Yes. Rapeseed. Canola oil. We got our bunches. And now it just depends on how you want them. Do you want them to be long and striped? How do you want to eat your bell peppers is basically what I'm asking here now. Do you want to eat your bell peppers? Um, do you like them chunky big? Do you like them small, cut finely nice? Well, you do you. Uh, I want them kind of small here to more easily blend them in my pan of oil so they can soften up a bit. So I like to first do this, just eat ever long. And again, my knife isn't the best, so it can't really cut right through them. So I got to use some more slicey power. That's fine. I take the bunches here, put it to the side, and then I just start chopping them like this. And if there's any stragglers, I go over them again, just slowly, like that. That's about the bunch that I'm comfortable with. Do the same here too. I don't want too much though, but I'll see. Yeah. Like I'm more and more, as I'm, I'm now doing on stream, I'm realizing that even though I've been thinking that I need a new knife, now that I'm on stream doing it, like, yeah, this doesn't look good. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, okay. Some nice cubes there of bell peppers. Slice power plus ten. Spike directly into the light chair and kind of And a look. I'm eating a bell pepper. Okay, good. Let's get uh, as comfortable amounts as we want into here. I can actually do this with my hand, to be honest. Um, I think that should be a good amount. Yeah, oh, this smells fantastic. So you can see, it's a bit buttery. Maybe hard for you, for you to see, but I can't show you this. Um, I need a little bit more oil in there, but it's gonna get marinated with the garlic and the bell pepper. It's gonna be soft up over time. Tomatoes need a crazy sharp knife to cut. Um, bell peppers at least. But yeah, for tomatoes too. Yeah, that's why I turned my, my slicing skills has changed. So my slicing skills, usually it's more like finely chopped like this. You know, you finely chop like that. Since I have a more blunt knife, I have to kind of work it more times than one. So it's not good technique that I'm learning either. But yeah, you just gotta buy a new knife. There's so many things to buy that I need. So. Life! Life sucks, dude. Okay. Um, this is too little paprika to for later, so I'm just gonna throw it away. Sorry. Yes, but it was a small bunch, okay? Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the bell pepper being a weird size. Uh, I think that cutting board is done now. I 
think we're done with this cutting board now. get to look at my ear. So many people want to just have some ear shots. There you go. People are weird. People are eared. Fine. Um, we have one more thing to do. What is the heat here? Yeah. No. Don't do that, by the way. Only if you're really comfortable with your oven. Don't tap your plates. You gotta really be comfortable with, with knowing your temperatures. Like, oh, this is hot. Yeah, this is kinda hot. Maybe I should remove my hand. That would helped. Yes, I do have a lot of banana peels. Uh, this just has two, but you're correct. I have a lot of, uh, my, I have like three bananas a day. Three bananas a day. Usually. You know the weather is so fucking nice outside now? It's actually amazing. So I have this, you can't see this, and you can't even try to see it because it would just ruin the lighting. On this side, I have a farm. Further away, another farm and a yellow patch of flower farm, whatever the yellow patch of farm thing is. Um, and the beautiful sun, sun, sunshine. Green now, summer. Summer green. Makes me feel fine. Lovely. Sunflowers, I don't know what they make. It's yellow. What do they have in farms that are yellow? It's nice though. The sunflowers? Yes, step 34, gently caress your stove top. If it's too hot, you have to lower it. Hello, Boric. Hello, Nathan. I'm the head chef. Fukui-san! Where's Fukui-san when you need him? Oh, I never took the app away. I didn't remove the app. The couch app. A lot of people on my couch. Sorry, when I go past, my giant feet make the camera wobble. <laughs> yes, Ota, we're making food today. Anyways, it's time. For the meat. Use a different cutting board for this. Um, I can even use a small one. Try not to mix your meats with the other ones. At least the at least the wooden. Let the wooden cutting board be wedged vegetables. Okay. Cut weird things on meat sticks, meat platforms. What's this? Tomato? Yeah. I'm cooking up a delicious five course meal. Of course meal. That's my restaurant. What kind of courses do you have? I have an of course. You get food here. Is it good? Hey, it's a course. Of course we do. Meat sticks. You, you use, you cut your meat sticks. Nice. You cut them into pieces that you are comfortable with. It's a bit more tough. But that's cool. It's been a while since I've been able to afford these. I afforded it for this stream. A whole bunch of salami like this. 
Heck, I don't know. That's been a while. So I'm lucky now. Let's see how much this is. I like to quarter them. Oh yeah, they're so juicy. Oh! They're good. Fuck me, man. Rich people have it good, you know? Rich people have it good. Wait. I should have used the bigger cutting board. So, the idea about this is that when this has marinated, the garlic, the bell pepper, we cook up this, we get the fat out of there as well, we cook up it, we get the fat, we're going to drain the fat into the bowl to make the nice sauce. Use this fat, use that butter, oil, use the bouillon into there, and for the pièce de résistance, some crème. Some crème fraîche. I'm gonna have a creamy sauce today. Some creamy sauce at the end. It's gonna be good. Are you gonna go sleep, Lurk? It's so early. These are so juicy, man. Wow. I had no idea. Should I take this off? The sides? No, fuck it, it's fine. Sorry, right, buddy. No sex before a fight. No sex before a fight, everybody. This is rocking, man. This is so cool. I had no idea it was so good. And they're so fat, juicy. Wow. I forgot how good food is. Definitely more than that. Oh, my knife is a mess. Sorry. I'm so... My fingers are so fatty right now. And I think like that. And then... Speak! Don't try to be Don't try to be Peter. Of salami. I spill my drink. Get root no till now. Get root till now. With a bar broke. Så da er det salami her, og så målet var igjen å få ut fett og sånt, ikke sant? Hei Steven, hvordan går det? Går det bra, eller Steven? Yes, yes! Yes, I rediscovered. No, the thing is, Spider, the thing is, food is nice, I've already, but I forgot about how nice it was. Happy little accidents. Oh, fair. Where is this disorder? I didn't forget, I forgot about that for deep. Hold on a second. We can make it happen. Oh man, this is uh, nasty. The knife is nasty because of my fatty hands. I didn't expect such a good salami dog. Imagine somebody at a restaurant ordering this dish. Like, sorry, it's been one and a half hour. He's still he's still prepping. Oh.
Strong. I think I have the bottom bit server, but. So let me see here. Let me let me look again what I have here. First of all, I need to manage this. This is still working. Add up the heat a little bit. I'll start adding the okay wait, before I add the heat here, let's see. Okay. Cook, marinate more. Bouillon. It's already on. Uh cook the pepperoni. There, but then I have the pasta. Pasta should be prepared. Um, pasta should be prepared now. Into a bowl. And then yada yada. Yeah, okay, okay. Pasta. You like my kitchen area? Thank you. I like you too. God, it's hot in here. Wait, let's check this one. Is it getting oily? Where's my where's my fork? Where's my trusty fork? I got it in here. You know what? Let's use another fork. For those who didn't see, this is the feta salad that I made. And I wanted to see it, if it's getting a little bit softer. And yes, it is. I'll add a slight sip drip of water though. Not much because it then gets immediately gets just like it. Yeah. You know, I don't measure things, but I measure things by sound. So I just want that yeah of water. Yeah. Fucking fantastic. This is gonna be if you like if you like feta, if you like tomato or anything like this. Oh, this is so good. Sorry, good to have another bite. Creamy sauce, garlic and bell pepper, pepperoni, salami, and um, served with some bread, ciabatta bread, cooked, baked, bagno. Okay, I need kitchen space, and I need to have the pasta here, so we might have to switch the camera around. Okay, this is going to be experimental. Everything might go bad at this point. I need to switch things around. Because I can't make the pasta on this counter because I have no I need to use the pasta maker and I have no grips and grams. So let me move things around. You know what? I'll just move everything. Don't need, now we only need water, we need to focus. Damn. Now it's focus time. Also make this in the thing. This is just a chicken bouillon cube. I'll just add it to the uh, pot before I forget it. I'm gonna add not all of it, but most of it. Now I'm concentrating, okay? Now it's gonna be wild and crazy for a bit. 
Start cooking this one slowly. Go over here, get ready for this. This needs a little thing. Now we're gonna turn it into high gear. Where are you, chat? There you are. This for the spaghetti later. Nothing to be embarrassed about. I sometimes go by my maiden name. It's magnetic! Okay. Countertop. Should be nice. I can have this here now. There we go. There we go. Yes, also the cleaning of the top. This will probably have some spaghetti on it soon. Well, that's okay. It's not the cleanest, but it just gets things. I don't want any bits in my pasta. And in case we need to flour it a little bit more, we're gonna bring out the flour again. Flour! And I need to have a little bit of a bowl for it. Sorry about the noise! Okay. Start cooking up this. Alright. So, what I'm gonna use... Is this baby. Pasta! Pasta maker! But, I don't have room for it here. And you have to spin it, and this is gonna be... So what we'll do... Does this ruin your view, by the way? It doesn't, does it? No, okay. bench. You can't see me that much anymore, but music is perfect. It's all random. So, I need to put this on the counter. Uh, of course, I can get this over here. Can you see there? I think it's... Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, nice. So, I'll have to do this for better lighting. Put it in the actual place. So, this boy needs to be here by the end, so do as much in frame as I can. Put this in the hole. Tighten it. I would get a good beating. Okay, and then this pasta strings on this side. This has been cleaned, no worries. This plate is for placing the pasta. This is for cutting the pasta. Okay! Actually, what I realized should have been here first. You know what? A multitasking streamer. Because it probably won't be aligned anymore with the fridge, the chat. But it looked good in the first two hours, okay? First two hours looked good. So now it's like, ooh, it's all yucky. But that's fine. Take away this. Another bag. Uh, this is my my dry hand. It should have been my dry hand for now. 
So first thing is I'm gonna probably just immediately what I'm gonna do is lather it a little bit first. I know this is too much. So since I made five eggs, why don't I use the knife? Anyways, this goes in the kitchen fridge for later. Like so, a little bit of flour on it. Nice. Uh, we, I don't know what to do anymore with that thing. Um, this goes back in the kitchen, in the fridge. I am in the kitchen. For tomorrow. More pasta, never hurt anybody. So now, I have my stick of truth. I just need to make sure everything here is going okay. Uh, this needs to be lowered. I do not want to cook this. I only wanted to have a low simmer. Very, not even simmer. Not even a simmer. The, the, the salami needs to be cooked now. As I said, it's going to be a multitasking time. It smells like heaven in here, by the way. Imagine butter, salami, garlic. Soon we're gonna smell egg pasta. So I'm probably going to cut this in two as well. Use my good old patent pending, not even patent pending thing. Get this in two. Get the pasta splits. Now that we have these in two pieces, we can start rolling them into longer ones to put through the pasta thing. And you just want to add some flour from the top and the back side just to make it not stick through either this or the machine. So don't worry about excess flour on these things. I had to return 13 cuisines. So I'd say this boy is prepared, but I'll just make the other boy immediately because now I'm kind of going to show the camera. He was a physical education major, but he had a mind. He could think. It wasn't all muscle, muscle all bones. body, all sinewy limbs. He got married, you know, later. Had yeah, you get sunrose to gold. It's so hot in here. So I nice never got a note. Never realized that because I don't spend that long in this in the heat in the morning in the kitchen, you know. So it's not really that important how good it is like this. Just get it so it's able to go through the pasta maker. It's a bit thick, but that's okay. So I'll keep on slathering them with a little bit of flour. So, this is still too hot. Nah. I could even maybe turn it off at this point. I'll still have it get what I want to get out of it. Okay. We're going to slowly turn the tables now. Yeah, just to use this. Let's see here. And you can see it. Good. So, pasta thing here on the lowest, I mean most width. Going to bring the body over. And here is already flour. So I'm just gonna run it through. Lowest setting. Like so. Keep it running again for the first one. There, then slightly increase the amount of, or decrease the amount of width you have for it. Don't get your fingers stuck in here. 
It's not what you want. So, there are different sizes you can end on. I like to go for five, I think. Not that it makes any sense to you. Maybe. Woo, look at this. Look at this. You got one more and I'm comfortable. I like my pasta thick. Starting to cook up back there. Actually, four would have been nice. There you go. Just going to put this thing now back on the main table. Going to flour it again. It has some weird. Okay, so I didn't work this dough perfectly. So you can see that by this. Uh, all these things, this is because the dough hasn't really been worked perfectly yet. But it's not going to affect the taste that much. Imperfections! Just, you can't see this, I'm just flowering it. So it doesn't stick. Gotta go here too. Just flip it up a bit. This is not cooking, so I'm just, you know, just getting them on the other side as well. I need to show you this here now because I <laughs> have a camera here. As I said, it's the multitasking is a coming along. It's good. Perfect. Now the multitasking is a coming. Oh yeah, the oven. Good music. <laughs> yeah, so it's the pasta for cooked pasta. said the small uh, things like this is only because the dough hasn't been worked I'm gonna blame streaming on this one properly here's one I prepared earlier yep So I didn't need the, the plate there yet. There you go. Last width here. Oh, fucking... Whoops. It's fine. Yes! And there we have it. I'll show you, okay? Fucking multitasking. I'm also working a camera. What a mess. Here. So, this is what it looks like here now. This is getting very juicy and nice. I'm just gonna turn up the heat a little bit more. This has calmed down to what I wanted it to do. And the bouillon now has separated mostly. Some very low heat. This is cooking perfect. So, this hasn't been floured yet. Just a little bit of flour. So, we have it like this. I like to cut things that looks very homey, home like. Um, so, I do have this thing, somewhere. 
but I don't like. I was gonna show you something that I don't like to use, so that I can't find it. Oh yeah, here it is. So this is kind of for carrying the edges of the pasta dough. You can use this, but the thing is, I just I don't care. Nice to the pan. I got a garlic in here now. Ah, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. So what I like to do is just cut like this. A little bit big for my for my thing here. Too big for me, she said. Smooth. Again, don't be scared of the flour. Grab them all in the bunch. Same here. Oh, you work together, please. been a while. Got the clean cuts like this. There you go. Come on. Where's my technique? Now oh, everything is cooking around me. I'm fine. I'm not stressed. Everything is happening at the same time. I told you it was going to go this slowly, but at the end, it all comes together. It all comes together. Oh, that was too much. That's fine. So, pasta, set, done, ready. Flour. Uh. So now, I will actually take this pep. And I'll try to conserve a little bit of the fat in there for reasons. I need something that doesn't hurt the surface. I'm conserving some of the fat for now. I'll show you why. Keep it low. This I can now take a little bit higher. That goes in there. Oops. Hot. Bouillon goes in. I'll keep some separated. Just to make the pep allow to dance a little bit more with these. So now they're all getting mixed up in there. Keep this on. I'll wait for the pasta. ciabatta bread is that I like to cut the front and the back. It's not like I really need to use the cutting board but just to look professional we're gonna use the cutting board. It's going quick now chat. Cut the top, take the bottom and that adds a really nice little bit of piece you can use. Looks nice on the cooking. It's a bit wasteful but I like it like that. This goes in the bin. And for the pepperoni thing here, I'm going to add flakes of salt. This is on low heat, so it's not gonna be acting weird. Flakes of salt. You know the agency's rules about secrecy. They're very rigid. Some spices that are very Italian, Slightly more butter. So, what I'll do, I'll 
use these to spice, to flavor them a bit. See? Now they're flavored, they're going in the oven. And I can take off the heat. Flavored, a little bit more. And oven. So, that's done. I'm not going fast. How are you doing, chat? No, it's basically the ciabatta bread, okay? Just a... It's not much to waste, just by cut. It's still one piece. It's fancy. I'm doing this for you. I'm using too much money anyways on food. Okay. Cook up good. I'll refrain from using the, the fan today because it's gonna add a lot of noise. This is nice, it's ready for the spaghetti. I think I'll use a little bit more in here now. I'm not exactly sure how much. And then I'll have the cream, the fresh. But not too much. Don't wanna go crazy. That's just the noise of the oven being at the correct temperature. And if this is a bit floaty, as it probably will be, I'll be adding some potato flour to make it a little bit more thick. Sieve here to not make a chunk up so much. Yeah, that might be okay. We'll see what happens with that one. guys will enjoy a nice compost bin together. Yeah, so I think now's the time. I hope this will be cooking nicely. This is now uh, messy. Try to cook it a little bit higher. Oh, that looks separated. That doesn't look too good. Let's hope this gets to work itself together. Might have flumped up the process here a bit. Maybe I didn't need that much more potato flour. Okay. Pasta! You cook these for not too long. And now, of course, the heat will come down because it will have a professional big ass fucking uh, pot for this. Could probably do it in two turns, but I don't want to do that. Never done that. Fuck it. Hey Noodle, how you doing? If I could reach out, I would. It's not a lot of that going on. <laughs> this is so weird. It's not supposed to be this weird. Come on, up the heat. Let's make it happen. This is spongy. This shouldn't be spongy. I added too much potato flour. Sorry! I'll fix it! I'll fix it!
Yeah. Okay, I'll get the consistency okay, but that'll also take the flavor out of it, so. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Here, so. We'll see what happens. This is gonna cook up all the flour, so I just gonna need to be careful of how much. This is gonna basically need a lot of time, this flour, because it's gonna really cook over quickly. Sludgy mess. <laughs> so I I didn't need potato flour there. That was my problem. I didn't need potato flour. I thought I did. I think I'm gonna soon judge this pasta to be okay. Give me one. better as well. Still a bit creamy, but that's okay. I mean, consistency is a bit weird. Let me have a taste test here. salami pieces as well. They did it. I like to have the water running so I don't have too high heat in the going into the um, wash. What is this? You know what? I think I did a mistake. Yeah, I think I should have de-skinned the salami that I bought. I think you should have de-skinned it. I didn't know. I think they're too tough to, to eat. But it's okay. The taste is still there. But you can you can sense that I think I should have de-skinned that uh, salami thing. But other than that, it's great. The taste is all there. So off, 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 off. How long should I cook them for? Eight to ten minutes. Oh, two hundred. I got on less heat. So this will be done in like three minutes. But we got the rest of them things ready. So um, we could actually just start plating. Let's see here. Yeah, these don't look too great. The, the dough should have more work together. Oh! 
You know, I'll just sometimes you have you want to have water in the bottom here because it keeps the pasta not sticking. But I'll just add all the pasta to my dish. Yeah, it doesn't, the, the dough should have been worked better, because it's slightly, it's sort of wrinkly, you know? But it's really good. Okay, I think that goes for plating a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Let me get the water. So. I can actually be just sitting on this on the counter for now. So how are we looking? How are we looking, Jack? To present it nice on the plate. Oh yeah, I gotta present it nicely. Yeah, no, they're been wrinkly. So what I showed earlier, I'll show you. So you saw the um, the the grainy bits of the pastas and didn't work it enough. You can probably see that it's slightly grainy here too. I don't know if you can. Anyways. That's the problem. Yeah, okay, this is fine looking okay now. I need to plate it nicely. Dang it. I'll try. Sludge. Sludge. It's still slightly on the sludgy side. As you can see, I added too much potato flour. Ah, we're done. We're done with it. There you go. So, kind of like that is what it looks. But we're also going to add some Parmesan. And at that point, the breads will be done. Thank you. Thank you. Updated my journal. That's presentation. I've had worse. You've had worse. Thank you, yeah, me too. I have enough, <laughs> just like a small bit left. Let's work it. Okay, I mm. <laughs> didn't have so much left, but that's okay. It doesn't look that nice because I can't. <laughs> I got it. I don't have enough. Come on, work it. Every last bit. And so. And then. Water in the mouth. Fridge. And I guess if you want to, we can have this. Water posture. 
Thank you. On the sides here. This actually blends nicely, but you don't want to be too weird about it. We're trying presentation here. We didn't have enough Parmesan. We're going for presentation now, okay? Presentation, presentation. Presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Presentation. Baba -ba -ba -ba. Fresh pasta. Wrinkly pasta. Good, good, good. This. No, we're not. Presentation. Presentation. Two minutes too long, chat. Slightly burnt, but that's it's not burnt. Hmm. Okay. Can we have oh yeah, I know. One swivel pattern of butter. Like shh. Like butter. Or something. Does that look worse? That looks worse, doesn't it? No, that looks worse, I think. I think that should have been just as it were. I tried. Okay! Stick a butter to the butter. Air it up. So there you go. It's not as much pasta as I would want it to look like, but there you go. Uh, very nice sauce. I love the sauce, by the way. Very creamy. There's the fat on the side there to add in spices. So, and then there's the bread. Let's taste the bread. Perfect. Oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Good. Mm. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's why I use... I love using this, by the way. Seasoned pan. As I did. Using the fat with pepperoni, butter, spices. <laughs> Great idea. What do we do now? What do we do now? Do I eat it? I don't like to eat on stream. So we, we, we'll, okay, we'll eat. We'll chat. You eat? Hold on. I can make it look good. Uh, what was that? Okay, it's fine. We just swivel around. But don't look my things, okay? So, do we want to go back to the original setup or do we just want to eat at the table? Or set up. Table is new experience. Fine. It's a day for new experiences. So hold on. There we go. I'll 
mute this mic. See you soon.